All right, so uh, you uh, pulled up an amp city amp, an amp chart to figure out uh, what size wire you need, and then you see that it has three different columns: it has a 60C, the 75C, and uh, the 90C. And all you know is you're running THHN wire, which is ready. If you could uh, theoretically go up to the 90C, but the qu the thing is, is that is the device ready for 90C? And I actually found out that most cases it's not. Like this guy right here, it's ready for 75C. So you have to use a 75 Celsius column on the wire chart to gauge what wire you run to this. Because if you run, let's say you run the 90C wire to this, most likely you'll trip the breaker before you reach that amp that uh, amp rating. I know, weird. Um, and the only uh, exception to the rule that you always, you know, it's strict 60C is going to be type NMB, otherwise known as uh, Romex. This stuff's always going to be under the 60C column, which I think is great because it's foolproof at that point. Because there's a lot of homeowners that do their own, do yourself for repairs and everything, and you don't want them running, you know, running 30 amps through a number 12, thinking that they could get away with running the 90C column. Their wire is the type UF type wire, which is, is supposed to be direct burial, but I would never direct burial wire. That's pretty much setting yourself up for failure about five to ten years down the road. Um, but same thing, number six, this stuff's ready for 50 amps. Um, the only time I'd recommend not following the amp chart is with number eight wire. And I see this all the time. People... Uh, run 50 amps through number eight which if you're gonna do that fine it's on you but I always recommend just spend extra money and get the number six because it's gonna run cooler it's gonna be long last longer um, I mean it's one of those things you're just setting yourself up for failure if you're running uh, 50 amps through number eight especially if it's a constant draw I mean if it's gonna be something like going to a panel that's barely gonna get used like out in a shed or something yeah whatever it's on you um, but uh, yeah, anyway. But anyway, you see the chart right here with all the different ratings. Or uh, like, let's say the this NMB wire with Romex. Uh, you see it has it's only in the sixty the sixty C column, and uh, it's you know it's pretty clear cut. You know, fourteen is uh, fifteen amps. Tw Twelve is going to be twenty amps so on and so on down the line that anybody can follow but it gets kind of interesting the further you go over the side sideways like let's say this guy right here which is the oh shoot wrong side focus as you got number two and it's MTU wire, which is machine tool wire, and don't really really worry about that right now. And you got THWN or THHN, same, basically the same thing for most intensive purposes. Uh, this is so it's number two. Now, if this was Romax NMB, this would only be rated for 95 amps. But you take it over to the 75 column, it's rated for 115 amps. Or if you go to the 90C column, it's rated for 130 amps. I don't recommend running it in the 90, 90 degree column because you're just going to cook stuff at that point. Um, 75C I think is perfect. Um, I think I'm forgetting something here. But essentially, uh, the safest thing to do in most, most cases is just to follow the 60C column. If you're going to be like, uh, if you have money to spare in your budget to do it. It's just follow the 60C because that's going to be the safest and it's going to give you some cushion. And if you don't know your devices that well, it'll give you a little, little air gap for room. Um, clear as mud? All right. Well, you guys have a great day.